The way Melodyne works is you have to transfer your audio into the Melodyne plugin. And there's two main ways to do this. The first way is to do it with ARA or ARA. ARA stands for Audio Random Access. And what this does is it allows your DAW to exchange information with Melodyne about the audio file's tempo, its pitch, rhythm, and other elements that help keep the audio in your tracks area and your DAW in sync with the audio in Melodyne. This makes transferring a lot faster and it also makes editing a lot faster. Now I'm using Logic, which supports ARA, but your DAW may not support ARA. So the second method is just to manually transfer in the recording into Melodyne, which is also very easy to do, but it does take a bit more time. So first I'll just load up Melodyne ARA as an audio effects insert on my channel strip here. And generally it's a good idea to put Melodyne as the very first plugin in your effects chain. The reason for this is if you have any EQ or compression or other effects before Melodyne, those will also get transferred into the Melodyne plugin, which is generally not what you want. Now, if you use the ARA version of Melodyne, it's very simple. You just press play and I just press stop and it instantly transfers the recording into the Melodyne plugin. And you can see that it's successfully transferred in my recording. Now, if for some reason all of your notes are all on one line and it doesn't seem to be working correctly, go up to algorithm and select melodic, if it's a vocal that is, and it'll separate those notes. I'll talk more about the different algorithms and which one is the correct one to choose for different content in the next video. Now, if you're doing this the old way, or if your DAW doesn't support ARA, you simply load up the standard version of Melodyne, click the transfer button, and then press play. And it transfers in our recording. Now, one thing you'll notice is that when you manually transfer this in, if you double click up here on the time ruler, it will only play the content that's within the Melodyne plugin. If you use the ARA version and you double click up here, it actually starts the playback. And that's because ARA will synchronize the audio information in your tracks area with the Melodyne plugin. Without ARA, if I move my audio clip around, you'll see that it has no effect on the audio data that's within the Melodyne plugin. However, if I use ARA and I move my audio clip around and then press play, you'll see that its position updates within the Melodyne plugin. So it keeps all of your edits out here in sync with your Melodyne plugin. So for most of the examples in this course, I'll be using ARA, but for some, I won't be. Most of your editing tools are identical, whether you use the ARA version of Melodyne or if you manually transfer in your audio. So that's how you can transfer your audio into the Melodyne plugin.